time. How to read clocks that are faster and slower. What is it? Used to quantify, measure, or compare the duration of events or the intervals between them, and even sequence events. Why? You can organize your day by specific periods. Interesting fact. A, bee, a bee's buzz is not produced by the beating of its wings, but by vibrating muscles. Now let's talk about how a slow, normal, and a fast clock work. As you can see, there's only one uh, arrow at the moment, then the rest will become out of hiding in a few short seconds. Now let's talk about what the colors represent. A green arrow represents a supercharged battery, so it will be going fast. A blue arrow represents a normal battery, so it will be going at a normal speed. And a purple arrow represents a, near, a battery that is near dead. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, the green is going fast, the blue is normal, and the purple is going slow. And now that you have, we have finished this thing, this visualization, the green arrow, which was the faster one, went all the way around, so completed a, a full circle because it was going faster. The blue one only went half a, a circle because it was going at a normal speed. And the purple one, which was going slower, only went a quarter of the way. That was a visual representation. Now let's talk about the math uh, behind it. So step one, find the incorrect time. Step two, determine whether to move clockwise or anti-clockwise. Step three, find the correct time. Now let's go ahead and get, make sure we just get started. Now the hands have joined us. Let's go ahead and read the question. This clock is five minutes fast. What is the correct time? And now we need to find the correct, the, the incorrect time that is on the, the clock. And that is 511. Now we're going to talk about the vocabulary, which is what does fast mean? Once again, fast is the minute hand has passed the correct time. So we need to go backwards or anti-clockwise to find the normal time or correct time. And now let's go ahead and get started. So we need to go backwards five minutes. One, two, three, four, and five. And now you can see that the correct time is 5.06. You can also see that if you subtract five from, from 11, you get uh, six. And therefore, they can also do it that way to get 5.06 as well. Now we have example two. This clock is six minutes slow. What is the correct time? So we need to find the time on the clock, which is the incorrect time, which is 7.19. Now we can go ahead and talk about the vocabulary, which is slow, and that, and that means the minute hand has not reached the correct time. Okay, so now we need to go forward or go clockwise to get to the correct time. And now let's go ahead and get started with that, and now we need to move, move forward six spaces, or six tick marks. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that means the, the, the correct time is 7.25. Or if you realize, you can add six minutes to 7.19 to get 7.25 as well. Now let's take a look at example three. This clock is five minutes fast. What is the correct time? So now we need to do step one, find the incorrect time that is on the clock. And it is 7.02. If you got the same thing, great. Good job. Now we can go ahead and talk about the vocabulary fast. Once again, the minute hand has passed the correct time, so we need to go backwards or anti-clockwise to answer the, the question by finding the correct time. So let's go ahead and get started by moving backwards five minutes, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, and five minutes, which means my time is 6.57. And as you may have noticed, the hour hand was also rotating in this picture and that is because we switched hours. We went from hour seven to hour six. So that so that this visual representation also also represents and shows that we're not we haven't reached uh, the hour uh, seven o'clock. Now also, if you realize, you can subtract five minutes from seven o two to get six fifty seven as well. So let's take a look at example four. This clock is three minutes slow. What is the correct time? So let's go ahead and find the incorrect time on the clock. And that is 9.38. So now we need to talk about slow. Once again, the minute hand has not reached the correct time. So we need to go forward or go clockwise to find the correct time. Let's go ahead and get started with that. We've added the normal hand. So let's go forward three, one, two, and three. So my, now my, new, my correct time is 9.41. And if you realize, you can add three minutes to 9.38 to get 9.41 as well. Now let's take a look at this example. 
Our example five is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and read the steps because they will be a little bit different as well. Step one, find the correct time. Step two, determine whether to add or subtract. Step three, find the incorrect time so we can match it to the clocks. Okay, so let's read the example. Match the clocks to the, de to the descriptions below. So let's go ahead and read uh, A. This clock should read nine, uh, should read 20 minutes to nine, but it's six minutes fast. So we know 20 minutes to nine is 840. So now we need to switch it and we know it's six minutes fast. So we need to add the six minutes to the clock to find what the clock repre uh, represents or what it tells us or shows us. And then as we can see, it is the third clock in the row. So it, we can write A underneath 846. Now let's take a look at B. This clock should read a quarter past four, but it is half an hour fast. So a quarter past four is 415. Now we need to change it. We need to add a half an hour to make it 445. And that is the fourth clock in the row. And we can put D B below 445. Now let's read C. This clock should read 17 minutes past four, but it is 14 minutes slow. So 17 minutes past four is 417. And now we need to go ahead and subtract 14 to get 403, which means the second one is C. And then finally, let's read the last one. This clock should read 25 minutes past eight, but it is two minutes slow. So 25 minutes past eight is 825. And then now we're gonna go ahead and change it to 823 by subtracting two. And that means the first one is D. Okay, now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video so you can take the time to answer these questions. And I will show you the answers in three, two, and one. Here they are. If you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, there's always tomorrow.